Recession and recovery. An upside to the downturn. We all know that the world economy is in bad shape. Global debt is at an all-time high. And if we think we've got it bad in the U.S., some other countries are a lot worse off. But amidst all the doom and gloom, are there any rays of light? Let's look around the world and see if we can find any good news. Let's start by looking at unemployment, a surefire sign of good or bad times. Unemployment rates are high for most of us, but much worse in Spain and South Africa. What happens if we flip the data to show us the recession year of 2009? The unemployment level was higher in the U.S. back then, so in North America at least, things have been improving. And in some countries, unemployment rates are actually pretty low. So if you ever wanted to work in Switzerland, now's a good time to apply. What about business? Out of all the billion-dollar companies, all of these filed for bankruptcy in the recession. But if we look at the bigger picture, U.S. corporate profits are actually up year on year. And if we dig deeper into global data, we can see that lots of companies insecure about the economic climate have been hoarding their cash. All in all, major international companies are sitting on over $6 trillion, which should eventually flow back into the economy. So that's something to look forward to. Okay, now we know what's going on with the big fish. But what about the small fry? The recession hit the small business community hard. But are there any signs of green shoots? Between 2010 and 2011, 742,000 small businesses set up shop in the U.S. But if we look a little harder, we can see that the number of startups is returning to pre-recession levels. And if we start comparing data, we can see that startups are actually creating more new jobs than those lost through company bankruptcies. So it looks like the little guy is punching above his weight. Next up, housing. Subprime mortgages were a big deal in the global recession. So let's take a look at where the market's at now. After all, home is where the money is, or isn't, as the case may be. Real estate prices are generally down across the world and in the U.S. But if we look a little harder for some good news, we can see that real estate market confidence is rocketing in America, and real estate construction is projected to rise. Good news for American builders, architects, and interior designers. And the rest of the world? Real estate has gone up in some countries. Did anyone have their ear to the ground enough to invest in the Latvian property market a few years ago? So although nothing is certain, there are signs that there may be an upturn on the horizon. And believe it or not, some of the most successful companies were founded during recessions. It makes sense that if a business can survive a recession, it'll thrive in sunnier times. So who knows? Maybe the next CEO of a global empire is standing right in this hall. Stay on top of the world. Financial Times. FT.com forward slash graphic world.